Hey there, RRT family. I'm Phil, and I am here with a familiar face, Ryan from That's RRT me. family, um, here talking about property investment. So I assume most of your clients know that you're a property investor, um, and I had some questions for you, if that was okay. Sure, let's go ahead and do it. Awesome. So what led you to invest in property? Uh, I have always been interested in real estate. So when I was in college, um, I don't know if anybody remembers, but there used to be, uh, I've always been interested in, in, in wealth, I guess is what it is. And so when I was in college, there was an infomercial you see on at night, uh, and it was Carlton Sheets, 12-step system to mon no money down in real estate investing. And so um, I had just gotten hooked watching that one night and then ended up sort of running down that lane a long ways. So okay. that's how I got started. Excellent. Um, and when did you get started? So when I started in real estate was back in 1998. I bought my first uh, investment property when I graduated from college and was able to buy a single family house to rehab. And so um, when I bought the house, it was in an area of Cincinnati that was uh, it's slated for development. And so there was incentives. And I bought the house with zero money down and actually got money back at the closing table. Phenomenal. So that was my first investment. And then... Uh, Basically, I bought a house for seventy-two thousand dollars, and I put um, uh, ten or fifteen thousand dollars into the house and did a lot of sweat equity, and then I ended up selling it for about one hundred and twenty-eight thousand. And the net of it was I made about ten or fifteen thousand dollars, and then I bought a brand new truck, and that ten or fifteen thousand dollars immediately evaporated. Absolutely, as it does when you have it was a great truck, yeah, but it was still you know, gone. Young bunch of money, yeah, right? You know, tends to move pretty quick. I can Absolutely. understand, but. Uh, you know, considering everything, what is your goal for your property management division heading forward? So the property management division we started here, I started, I should say, a few years ago. Um, and the goal is really to start helping me invest or manage investments that I have. So since my first investment, I've grown from uh, just from flipping a couple houses to rental properties that people stay in. And really, in, when you think about real estate investing, the, the real money is in holding property and not in flipping properties. Uh, one of the main reasons being that when you flip properties, you tend to have to pay short-term capital gains tax, which is the same thing as paying income tax on, on active income. Yeah. One of the most powerful pieces of real, rental real estate is that it becomes a passive income, and so it's taxed at a different rate. Uh, and if you look and study wealth or wealthy people, you'll find that most of them either had real estate or have real estate now that they're wealthy or they had real estate to get wealthy. Excellent. So, you know, in Ohio, where is it that you're looking to invest? So I primarily have most of our investments in the Delaware and Union counties um, in northern northern uh, north of Columbus. Uh, I typically focus in Delaware because I, I live there and that's part of the community that I'm a part of. And um, you know one of my goals is to always be proud of everything that we own. And so uh, I want to make sure all of our properties are well managed. They're, they look good. They feel good. We have quality residents that uh, enjoy living there. And uh, I feel like I'm adding a value to the community by doing that. Absolutely. Quality resident makes all the difference. Um, you know, so when it comes to property, what is it that you look for in a property that, you know, starts your thought process to think this could be a good investment decision? So when I think about a, a good investment property, it really just starts with, you know, who it is you want to rent to. Once you get that piece clear in your mind, then it's buying a property that that person would want to live in. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, and then, then the back end of that is making sure that the economics work where the rent covers the in, the mortgage and the expenses and still gives you a monthly profit. So when you're looking at a property to evaluate it for potential investment, you know, what are the things that you know? Are you looking at foundations? Are you looking at aesthetics? Are you looking at, you know, the infrastructure with the water heaters? You know, what are the things that yeah. stand out? Sure. I mean, I think you're always going to have to look at the physical structure of the building, making sure that you're accounting for any kind of upcoming expenses and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, you also uh, want to look, you know, for sure, the, the location, location, location. That's what it's all about. Is there a good enough demand in that area for that type of housing that you'll be able to keep it rented consistently? Because in rental real estate, the real key is keeping the home rented. Um, if it's not rented for long periods of time, that can really cut in your profit margin, and then that, all the numbers you might have get thrown way off. Absolutely, absolutely. Definitely need to make money for it to be an investment, right? Right, absolutely. Uh, excellent. So, you know, without giving too much away to the folks out there, um, what area specifically in Delaware would you say has the most promise right now to be the place to invest? You know, it's a good question, and it really just depends on what your your expected um rate of return would be along with what your 
uh, investment goals are. So, um, and it really depends on each person. So for me, I like to buy duplexes. Um, I like to buy single family homes. Um, and so it doesn't necessarily matter too much where those are, um, as long as they're meeting the objective of the people that I'm intending to rent to. Yeah, phenomenal. And last question here for you that, you know, moving forward and, um, you know, thinking of everything involved with property management and the real estate team, how do you feel, you know, the uh, Ryan Reynolds team can benefit uh, the people of Delaware as well as, you know, other investors everywhere? Sure. So I think the, the biggest benefit we can have as a real estate team is we are end to end. So when you're evaluating and wanting to purchase a property, we, we are there to help you with that. We can get you through, the, you know, get the actual property acquired. Once it's acquired, we can do everything from finding a tenant to maintaining that property, um, to capital improvement plans, and then also just managing it very effectively. And then when you're done with that property, we can help you by selling it and um, also exchanging potentially into something else. So from a tax standpoint, we understand the consequences of what happens when you sell a property and depending on how long you've owned it and everything else. So it's really an end-to-end -end consulting piece where we, from finding the property to selling the property and everything in between, we can help. Absolutely. Yeah. So no, I really appreciate you taking the time to explain, you know, your goals, visions, and uh, past with property management. And if anybody out there, you know, in central Ohio or even you know, around the country is looking to invest in property with us, give us a call um, and we'll uh, see what we can do to help.